Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Pacific Drive, shall we? Picking up where we left off, and oh boy, it's raining hard. Alright, so we need to break open the back room with the impact hammer, which, you know, we can easily do. And we're in. And assemble the antenna with the fabrication station in the back room. Well, I saw some recipes for this, like the, the summer tire, um, for example. Oh, wow, this is like the crafting tree. Uh, scanning antenna. Cobble together using equipment, equipment from Oppie's vault and scavenged spare parts. This will sweep the zone to detect pockets of stability. Okay. Well, we need to make this. It's going to take a broad, uh, broadcast transmitter. Five plasma, 40 scrap metal. Easy peasy fabricator. And it came out here in a pneumatic tube. How about that? So we will uh, take it. And we got it. Install it on the roof. Yeah, sure. Let's put it on the roof. We need to make our station wagon into Ecto-1 as soon as possible. Now, how do I install this on the roof, um, you ask? I actually have no idea. Oh, oh, it's not the roof of my car, it's the roof of this building. Okay, derp. Follow the blinking yellow diamond, you moron. Okay, so let's go around, look, look for a uh, ladder, scaffolding or something. Here we go, we've got a sweet little ramp system. All right, running up it. And uh, I'm going to just use right trigger to install. We got a Chivo into the wilderness. And wow, okay, that's big. That was like a Subnautica build there. All right. Loud and clear. Car maintenance is the subtitle of this section. Um, install the handbrake. I was looking for a handbrake before, and all I could find was reverse. That would be very useful. Get it from the backroom storage locker. Let's open up the other door here. Might as well have both. All right, and there is a handbrake. There's a panel, a bumper. All right, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. A hand vac. Oh, I could keep things clean, you know. All right, so uh, let's just transfer this. And install it in the engine bay. All right, let's get under the hood, I guess. Bam. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Good idea. Okay, so there's storage here that's uh, collective. I charged, I don't know, everything. Hopefully that worked. And then, before I go, though, she says, search the dumpster for something to help you unload the trunk. Oh, okay. What did I find? Oh, my God, it burped on me. What does this mean? Oh. Okay, it gave me a whole bunch of stuff. Tend to your wounds at the first aid station. Alright, so I got a whole list of objectives over here on the left. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. I'm gonna peep. I got a Chivo into the zone, I believe it was called. And we'll use the first station, station top off. And let's move over here. Let's pick up all of this stuff that we can. Flares included. That's fantastic. It just belched all of these supplies. And this is the transfer trunk. Okay. Um, repair the car, fill the tank, and pack survival tools. All right, so I've got the transfer trunk. Let's see what it says. 
Extra moving capacity is exactly what you'll need after those longer, deeper drives. Now you can transfer all your resources and items with ease, thanks to this portable garage buddy. Oh, okay. And then transfer chunk, right. So transfer materials. I did it. And then... I think I want to keep these items over here. So I've got the transfer trunk, but I probably want to set this down. It says it's empty, but that can't be right. Do I just put it anywhere I want over here? I think I should probably put it in here by the fabrication station, but I'm not sure. Go dumpster diving and see what you can find, right? I think I did that. Um, now it's giving me more stuff. It gave me a scrapper and a door. Inventory full. Right. All right, here, let me put this down. I don't really know how to put it down. Um, I just threw it down on the ground. And you can see what it's got, so it has all this stuff there. Maybe it's better to keep it by the car. I'm not sure, but I do want to check this out. Like, Matter Deconstructor, for example. Um, energy efficient, economical, and probably even ethical, the Matter Deconstructor will recycle car components in seconds. Do be careful not to get your hand caught in the suppression matrix. Right. We can get um, expanded locker, detailing station, fax machine, all kinds of cool stuff. So this, um, all I need are gears, which gears are easy. Um, this is her tube. Alright, so, I mean, I'll pick this up and this up, just like a spare door. Inventory full. Okay, let me go to my inventory. Alright, so this is a spare impact. No. I think the heart means it's equipped? I'm not sure. Now, what does the heart mean? Means it's favorited? I don't know. Alright, anyway. Um, let's go ahead and do some stuff here. So I will take the fuel nozzle and top off the car. Tank is filled. Put that back repair the car. Uh, the workbench. Here, yeah, make me some gears. One, two, three. Now this is drawing from the transfer trunk, which is exactly what I wanted. And then now I can go over here and make this. Patent pending. Invent something new after installing the zone scanner. So we got the matter deconstructor. And I don't know what to do with this, but... Oh, I can put it over here. Okay. And it's a new garage component. Alright. Holy smokes. Okay. That is no joke. Oh, it looks terrifying. Um, okay, it's the same log as I saw before. What happens if I try to use this thing? Uh, I don't think I need it right now. Maybe it's like if you have too many of one part, you can use it to... Or you could take... I bet what you could do is take a part like a door into its smaller, you know, constituent parts. Uh, this is... Charging station. I already did that. I kind of can't remember. The, the, is the only way to repair my vehicle just by using my own handcrafted repair garbage? I think it is.
Let's just hit stuff with putty. Yeah, that looks terrible. It's looking slightly better. It says bumpers, doors, and panels installed. Yeah, I am missing some stuff without question. Looks like my repair stuff, uh, I ran out of it. So we need to craft some more. They want a battery jumper, actually. And I'll just put it in here. Oops, wrong thing. Put it over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll put that in my thing for a moment. But yeah, let's go ahead and just keep repairing. Yeah, the front of the car got smashed when I ran into the gate. Not my best moment. Now, I don't know why the... I need to fill the tank again. Maybe because it wasn't repaired, I couldn't max capacity, but I did fill it up. Vaguely confusing. The only thing I could think of is that it was damaged so it couldn't hold everything it needed to. Alright, let's see. Uh, this looks terrible, but is actually full. Let me see what's damaged. Ah, uh, the trunk. Oh, I think the car is running. That's my fault. That's why it's using gas. I forgot to turn it off. Okay. Well, that answers that. Like, if we were ever uh, worried about knowing what would happen if you left it on, if you could just do it. No, you can't. You will be using gasoline. All right. Uh, let me see everything. This door is broken. Bumpers in bad shape. Headlight, terrible. That should do the car. Almost, almost did the car. All right, hit me with the putty again. Okay. And then we go to my old inventory here and just kind of put this on. What is damaged? Where do I see any? It's such little damage. It's very, very minimal. Whatever is busted. The bumper. Got it. Now I just need panels, doors, and bumpers installed. So, uh, I honestly don't know what I'm missing. Maybe because the window is broken? Um, zero of one ability is equipped. Change ability. Oh, we can slot the handbrake. And that is now on the A button. Okay, cool. And it looks like... I need, like, the passenger side door, because the window is cracked, maybe that's a big problem. And then there's obviously no panel on the trunk. And I think I just haven't figured out how to do that, but you definitely can. So let me go ahead and go into my cardboard box and just take out... Didn't I find a panel or is it over... Yeah, it's over here. So um, let me just hold this and put it on to replace this. 
Uh, I don't know if I can. I'd like to. Maybe I need to... Oh, no, you can put it on the back. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's because it's not a panel, it's a door. That's what I didn't make. Okay. So I need to make a pry bar, like a spare pry bar. Let's open it. All right. And now we have a spare pry bar, a spare scrapper. We should make a spare impact hammer. And, oh, uh, we look good. Find your way to town. That's all that is left. Let me see if there's anything else that I could craft over here at this thing. So, like, Expanded Locker says, I, n I don't have any stable energy. So I might have the ingredients, but I need that stable energy. Now, I don't know if you can get more than one of those. Like, if I would have gone to every anchor and fed them into my arc device, would I have gotten more? I honestly don't know. I don't think so. I think you just can go to whichever one you want to teleport out, but maybe you could have. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? Okay. I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. Right. Okay. So, she's saying I could go... Uh, this is the one that I guess she's recommending. The Downs, Syriam... Unknown, unknown, unknown. The Remnant Experiment. Maybe I should go here. Damp Forest... But this looks like where they want me to go. Because the quest is saying here. I don't know if I could just go here and do my own thing. But this is the route that we got plugged through. So we got the back roads down to uh, Siram. Alright. And all done, I think. Find your way to town. Sure. Close it up. Hop in. Go for it. And let me go here. Right. It won't show me until I leave. Alright, so we'll go up here. All right. In this zone, you can save it. So I'm saving it. So even though I set the route, I wonder, I could just go wherever I wanted, I guess, but let's just be predictable for now. I see bunnies on the map, and it scares me. Alright. Perpetual stability is this junction condition. That seems pretty good. I turned on the lights. I guess we'll turn on the blades and let me pause let me look at what i got here i am way up here there's anchors uh over here and here so i i know i'm gonna want the anchors if i need to go back but do i want to you know what my favorite 
remnant was the record player. You remember Francis? See, you play records normally, but then every now and then you hear weird voices. Like that one time it was my fifth grade lunch lady. <sighs> this again. You know, the sooner I get this out of my system, the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. <sighs> Fine. Hey, had a girl? Oh, boy. Hey, driver, listen. Of all the legends, of all the stories that have spawned in the zone, <laughs> trust me, there are so many. The remnants? One of the best. I'll start from the beginning. <clears throat> in 1964, strange objects began appearing throughout the zone. They were uh, shabby, cast off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. A rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Oh God's name are these things. So out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a uh -oh. mysterious car in the forest, right? They made my car mess up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, first of all, let me make sure that, uh... Okay, I'm on streamer safe mode, so I can listen to the music, but... Did those, th those things seem to have, like, overtaken my vehicle? Manual. Car part status. Uh oh. Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the car stuck with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently. A, a, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun, but better to know what you're up against. Could the remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> Anyway, it's been 20 years since the last remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. Uh, beating heart. What is this thing? It's been at least two months now, and I'm the last member of our team left out here. Totally lost. I have no idea what day it is, where I am, where I need to be headed, even which way might be north. The roads themselves seem to be changing, and those barriers that the government installed open and closed with a mind of their own. I don't know if I'm ever going to get out. I've only been able to keep going thanks to magical piles of semi-organic junk that somehow knit the van back together after whatever things smashed it apart last time around. I can get hit by electricity or dragged into a tree ten times over, but these... Things patch everything up better than any mechanic I ever knew, and then I just drive on into the forest once more, trying out the next junction. That's the story of the last living member of the Bug Watch team, stuck out here forever because we came to record a dumb show about insects. So this thing actually is good, but I don't know how to get it. Is this like a, I need to drive into it for it to work? Or, oh, you know what? Maybe if I put my car close to it, actually, it'll fix it. Now, this guy, I... This thing is a jerk. Broken bunny. I don't like this. I feel like an experiment. That's what I feel like. Maybe, uh, like someone's playing with me. Maybe to learn about maybe. Maybe just in case the way you see a raccoon try everything it can to get into a trash can. Why would that be? Is this a response to the experiments I'm performing? Am I interesting? Am I a snack? These damn things chase me and they leap on cars or field equipment we've set up and it's like they're playing. Please, tell me you're feeling the same way. Tell me you're seeing this. Nothing in nature is random. Evolution means that these things in our world have function. They have purpose. What's the purpose of these things and what are they trying to do? And are the things in the zone evolving? Uh, I don't think you understand evolution, um, but okay. So there is an arc, or there's a, a way to get back right here. I don't know if I can... There we go, I broke it. And what did it give me? Scrap metal, um... 
Oh, car cosmetics. That's fun. Orange paint. I mean, that's kind of cool, but my car got wrecked by these things. I'm going to see if I can drive back to this beating heart and if it in uh, indeed does repair it. Uh, oh, drive. Yeah. Look at this. You can see the health of my car going up. Not everything. Like, the rear door is still damaged, but just about everything got fixed. And that might just be the glass, which might not be even repairable. But that's awesome. That's good to know about. Or maybe it has a limit on how much it can heal. Uh, let's see here. I mean... The question is... I can't recall, but... Like, what if... I just get out and feed the arc to the device now, to my car right now. Is it going to take me back immediately, or do I get to kind of like... I think I it waits until I stage it. I think, right? So I probably want to load up as many of these as I can to use as... I think if I would have gotten one more of this, I would have been better off. I'm not sure about that, though. Oh, and this really attracts them. Uh-oh. Okay, I fed it. But now these guys are here, destroying my car. So, uh... I'm gonna throw it. That way? And then... I don't even know what to say. Throw that one that way. Uh, I mean, okay. So maybe this is the consequence of picking these pieces up, is that this happens to you? Um, I guess? Uh, I was seriously injured doing that. And my car is in shambles? I don't know, maybe that was a bad idea. I don't want to link a gateway right now. I was just trying to get some resources for later. Is the heart still beating? I don't think it is. Alright. Then let's get out of here. Oh, that door is open. That was not intentional. Um, I'm going to go this way. It doesn't drive like a real dream here, but it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and get out. Alright. Um, yeah, the car itself is in really bad shape. It's like got radiation going on. Uh, I took it off. I don't know if I should have done that. I'm hurt just by touching it. It got, it got like electrocuted. Um, missing ingredients. Oh, right, because I didn't bring anything. Crude panel. All right, well, where did my scrapper go? Um, what happened to it? Did I accidentally throw it? Must have. I think I must have accidentally thrown my scrapper. Okay. I have a backup. Alright. So I'm going to need to really repair myself and my car.
Although, I don't know if there's any penalty for just going back as much as possible to upgrade my car. Like, what if I just kept going back to the garage? Alright, I got a bunch of parts. Okay, nice. Alright, so what I'm going to do is go back to the crap mat, and I can make, I mean, a mechanics kit. But I should have that, actually. Let's go ahead and... Go ahead and see if I can use the mechanics kit on anything. Now, I, ha I know this is my ceiling kit. I haven't figured out really. Maybe if the tire is completely dead, you use this. So instead, let's go ahead and put this back and then give me this. And just like the most damaged bits that I have, we can fix up. Um, I mean, interesting. So I do wonder, what should I be up to? I'm going to put these decorative bits away. Let me see my map. So I could... Um, I'm, like, right behind me is a bomb going off, and it's getting bigger. Gateway too close. Seismic squall. Um, I gotta move. I'm getting caught up in the squall. Let's go. Uh, wait a minute now. Is this because I took the thing? Alright, well, it sort of disappeared after a second. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Alright, here's a ramp. This is wise. This is what the best drivers do. They just drive over ramps. And if I look at the map... Oh god, I don't have any time for this. Um, Alright, I'm caught up in... All kinds of bad stuff on the map. Okay. Um, this is less than ideal. There's a, like, a light up here, but I don't know if it's, if that's something I can use or not. Uh, this isn't really happening the way that I had envisioned it. Alright, I'm here. And I need to get out of this seismic squall. So I need to find a... The way out, I guess? What is this? Gateway too close. Gateway too close. I need another gateway, I suppose, but I can't find one. Um, alright. Okay. I think I don't understand what's going on. Like, maybe I shouldn't have picked that thing up, and it's made the... I, I thought this wouldn't trigger until I plotted the course. Uh, what is this? Well, let's get out. 
I can at least scan it. What do you, what do you? No scan target. You're an anomaly. Um, a glittering boulder. Okay. There's a heart. I can fix my car with it. Let's go get that. The car's not in, like, critical condition. It's not the absolute end of the world. I'm at half health, but I can repair myself a bit. So maybe this is more like what the loop is like. You want to get to as close to these things as you possibly can. And use as many of them as you can. Alright, the... the uh, big storm has moved on so I'm gonna link the gateway and see if I can uh, see what happens now I know this has messed this things up dramatically because um, I'm not gonna be able to get through the way that I'm supposed to but I want to get these Cores, and I want to see what the game loop does if I choose to go back. If I can come back to this point whenever you want. Because honestly, this is a functional thing for me that I'm testing as well. Because as of now, the game does not have save on exit, which is not really convenient to how I play games, uh, because I need to be able to stop them whenever I like. So, uh, I'm seeing, what is the penalty if like, okay, I know I only have five minutes left to play, let's just go try to get to one of these things and see what happens. What happens if I do that? That's kind of what I'm looking at. Like, what... Is it worth it to do this? Is this a bad idea? We're going to find out. I'm back. All right, so I got two stable um, energy from the trip. I'm marginally impressed. Not bad, newbie. I don't know what she's... I mean, I didn't even make it to where I was supposed to go. But... At the same time, I'm back. Oh, I gotta turn off the car. I always forget to do that when I come to the engine. There we go. Alright, so I can heal myself. At least there's that. That's fantastic. And then, uh, paint shelf. Oh, okay. We can use this to change a bit. Like, I've got radium driver, which I can try to put on my car, I guess, if I want. Uh, let me see how that works. I can use this to, you know, fill up the car. Uh-huh. Hang that back up. Alright, so we need to do a lot of repair work, which is fine. And uh, let me go to my inventory. Kind of just hold this and we, where can I put this cool decal? Anywhere I want? I'm going to try it right here. Okay. I mean it looks good except for the whole business of the fact that the panel itself is garbage. Alright. And um, car cosmetics. Build the detailing station to use cosmetic items. Sure. No, we don't need to assign a quick slot, but we could just pick this up, put it in our hands. Oh, it's a different, um... Oh, you get more than one use out of it. Uh-huh. Oh, that's fun. It's like a, a progressive decal system. So they kind of connect. That's hilarious. All right. So then I'll put the stickers back for now. That's fun. Deposit paints. There you go. Great. And um, they want us to build the detailing station. Sure. So the detailing station is down here. It's easy for us to make it. But the expanded locker... Um, we don't have that. We don't have the glass cylinder. We don't have that. We could make a craft mat. A matter... A uh, refrigerator. Um, 
Oh, this is used to repair car components stored in the station while you're out on a drive. Oh, okay, that's kind of nice. You can just put parts there. I'll build this just because. Alright. And we can now install this thing. There we go. And... Uh... We did it. So at the detailing station, you can put some cool stuff on here. Um... I can install the space pup. Alright. Now, I do have some items here. Like burnt orange paint. And I can transfer this and transfer this. And then I can just go here. And I can open this. And, uh... Oh, these are... I see. I want to believe. This makes sense. These are like the different... The hood ornament. Starfighter. Yeah, install it. And then the shifter. Yeah, put, put that on there. Spaceship steering wheel. That's pretty hilarious. Um, the UFO. I guess we could put that on there. Antenna is a wishing star. Um, we've got different flags of support that we can put up if we're interested. I'm just going to go with, uh, you know, liftoff and then astronaut. Great. Now this thing, what do I do with this? Put in detailing station to equip. Oh, okay. So you have to go to your inventory, and then you have to say, transfer. Okay, and then now I can, like, go here, and, uh, instead of this, I could have the, um, cool dog. Alright, so now let's look at my car. Oh my goodness, yes, it has been tricked out. Look at that steering wheel, look at the decorations I have, that is hysterical all right activate the driver's checklist at the status monitor so we need to fix up the car obviously among other things i mean i need a scrapper i don't have one i need to use repair kit this is for engine and wheel trouble Okay, sweet. All right, well, we need to fix up and get back out there. But it was actually fine. Like, it, there was no, there was nothing wrong with me doing that to come back and install a few things here. And then maybe we can get back out on the map wherever we are. This is the uh, checklist that we need before we get back out there. And we're rocking and rolling. Everyone, I hope you're still enjoying this series like I am. I want to say thank you so much for watching. And I'll check you in the next one. Take care.